Okay, so since last time I did indeed go through most of the items and add more information to be displayed. So let's say the vertex descriptor, you got some data, you got some create info. Similar for shader, you got some stuff that's great. But the problem with that is the fact that it's not really covering as much as it could. I mean, it covers enough, I suppose, but I'm not really particularly mm, happy enough with it. So if I go to shader, have a look at this, I'm only covering the shader code file. However, there's also this other, you know, graphics VK shader create info, which has got a bunch of other information. And then like that would have been okay if I could also, if I just added this, but the problem is, is that all of a sudden I run into these, the VK descriptor set layout create info information, which I am not, you know, creating IAM GUI display functions for all of these manually is something that isn't going to happen. Rather, I'm going to, this session is going to be based on, mostly around trying to automate that and finish up a lot of these structures. Basing a lot of that off of the little kind of, uh, what I did a while back where for YAML, I created an automated uh, function generation mechanism using uh, the XML information that's generated from the raw Vulkan XML docs. Um, so I generate it, if I can find the run fuzz process, I generate the XML data here, and then this generate function source would create a file, which had, which like this one, which has, you know, auto-generated templated functions, which is, you know, what which is pretty okay, which is going to really shortcut a lot of things. And of course it has this YAML that says, you know, which ones to do and which um, items to exclude, and which uh, elements to exclude. So I'm going to basically be, basing, based off of this, I'm going to implement the similar for I am GUI for the Vulcan structs anyways. And then I'm going to implement, use those to implement other things further that you utilize them, such as the shader, create infos, and probably some other things like meshes and what have you. So to begin with, I need a new library. So it's you know, the, the graphics VK I am GUI library, which I will base the CMake off of this for the one for the full resource I am GUI, yeah. Mm hmm. So change this up to graphics score BK. Yes, 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 yes. The um, full graphics VK I'm GUI. We got that one. That one. No, no. This one. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's so, okay. Need the include. And I need the source directory. I also need a tools for generating the dang thing. Similar to this. Nope, to this, yes. So one, I need some kind of run.hl script right now, which will, for the moment, copy the portion that checks out the Vulcan docs and then generates the XML for me to use. So I'll use that. Let's go libs. So graphics. Okay, libs. Make that executable. Run that. And there we go, we have this, which is not at all formatted. Format it real nice for me, please. Or don't. Oh, yeah, there we go. Save that. Okay, 
right, next will be, I need a Python function which is based off of this. So let's make a copy of this. Generate the function source, paste that here. And let us do, 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 do. do. So we're in here, we run Python with what are the uh, dash x is the XML, so that'll be like oh no no no, they'll be right here. So dot gen cache dot XML. I need YAML, which is source file, the structs that are being done, and this is all going to be spat out into like. We spat out to a file. So this will be let's do a copy paste of this. Copy and paste. Okay. Let's see. I'm not gonna get it the first try, of course, but I need to get something. So let's I only need one because we're only Printing out a function which just does I'm going. So only need we can eliminate all the other three. And we don't have to do this either. We don't have to generate it and then print it out. We can just print it out straight away. So we just print that. Um, exclude members, member types. Let's say, yeah, if we have Hmm. Print that. We have the print of this. Down to that. Read required, write optional, write required. If I can find where it ends there. We have this. Okay, this is going to be requiring a number of changes, obviously. Let's get rid of these. Because Okay, so that's one per function. Yeah, okay. For one thing, I don't actually have, I'm not using templates. I mean, I'm GUI is exclusively C++, so I don't, I wouldn't mind probably, uh, like I am, like with YAML, I won't, I wouldn't be opposed to just using a some kind of templated function, especially considering like I don't have a great way of doing this, right? Because because just trying to think. Hmm. Like, how do I do these? Like, if I have like an I'm GUI display, and let's say the, the node name and the, the data. Okay, I need to change that around a little bit. Ah, whatever. Print the end of the function. Magic. We don't have read, we don't have that. Just data, just data. Uh, this needs, yeah, it's going to be a bunch of changes. S type, of course, doesn't even have anything to happen anymore. Mm -hmm. Photographics VK, I am GUI. Exporting. 
No, none of this. No, we don't need any of this. Paddle. Just a function declaration and some stuff. So yeah, if I was to have something like that, which would be like the node name, I guess, the, 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 the part that goes to the left side, the prefix of whatever it is. And then on the right side, it'll be like data dot the thing. And then inside, blah, blah, it'd be, I need a couple of templated functions. So one would, you know, so because I need to do, I'm doing text, you know, uh, name plus, you know, some, something like that. Unless, unless I can bring in, do I care to bring in the format library? Because I could short circuit this. in a pretty big way. I don't know. I may just, you know what, maybe, okay. Let's say, for sake of argument, I have here, I have pod display, plain old data display, which, you know, mm, copyright header at the top. Header guard, but the point is we have template type name. I'm going to display the type and node name, maybe? I just did it, I guess. <clears throat> and t, const, and data. Something like that. We have a template type like that. Already firmly in the C++ realm because of standard string and a bunch of other stuff like that. Then on the so on the source side, I'd have def display. Because realistically, this would be. This would actually be down here and here it's a templated function we'd also have so much like I believe I have the same thing going on with um, mm. pod display actually no this is just display because pod display would just be the plain old data types to uh, YAML, <clears throat> I have something similar where I have parsing, which is just this, these four functions. And then on the other side, I have templated versions of a bunch of different things. So 
Is it template? Oh, I have instantiations of them for different types. And then I use those types in more complex structures. And they call down, and they're very easy to call down into. And then I can also reuse the type, the template type function for the new, for the like the Vulkan types. And I can actually probably use the same thing, like going all the way up to, you know, like faux shader, like the resources and they're created for themselves at the top level. Instead of having like, I'm GUI underscore type name. Yeah, so instead of this, I would just have, instead of having like this as the name, it's just be I'm GUI display template type. Don't need headers, it's just sources all the way. And as long as it exists and it's linked in, you're good. So I think I'll go with that. So we got, this is a, that's it. That's it right there by itself. instantiation like I did with YAML. Can I? No, because again, it's uh, because it's a it's got the printf syntax, which is just pain. It's just pain. Unless again, I bring in format. I mean, I'm already bringing in format for faux, way up there. So, and I, and that will be changed over to be using whatever the the C the, the C plus plus standard version of format is when it arrives. And I get twenty three, I guess twenty twenty three. I forget which one it was for. So maybe pointer long and signed. Hmm. I think I'll do. I'll I'll go with it. Format core dot h. So it'll be. Let me uh bring up YAML. If I can find it again. There you are. So how would this work? I just don't want to, I just do not want to have just that. I need to have a template function, which then I then instantiate. I don't want to do it like instantiate through just a macro because then I lose the ability to debug them, which is pretty dang important. Nice and easy. 
and I just pass in whatever the data was. That should work for most types. And then I have an instantiation. It's just, you know, um, how do I instantiate? I've done it before. I have like in the, let me just double check what it is, state pool. No. Check my pool. I have to have an instantiation somewhere. Is this it? Mm, doesn't seem like it. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's like something like where we have to have like that, something like that. Or I have to say maybe it's class that to instantiate. to say templates, blah, blah, like that. Maybe. So can I do this? Probably. Hmm. I think. I think. Let's see. Let's see how it would work right now. Under image. Yeah, sure. No, not image. Let's do armature. That's the one down here. This is pretty easy to find. Um, let's include. Display.hpp. That, and we have the data, which is 3u, let's say. How does that work out? And then I can have like a I don't know if that'll be turned to a string or not. <clears throat> Unsigned int, blah, 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 blah. Because that library is not, is it linked? No, it should be linked in. Um, am I not, not exporting it? Do I have to like, yeah. I have that, so I just need the Right? Mm, no. It doesn't belong here. It belongs on the instantiation point. Okay. Just, oh, I'm not built. Okay, I'm not compiling it. That's another uh, big whoops. Now you're going to link. No. Okay, that one I understand, that one I don't understand quite as much. Char star.
Okay. Let's just focus on the first one, shall we? So let's say if I actually did this. Down here. Uh, it's just like, what was it? The UN32, right? that work if I exported it or hold on are these all just okay first of all this is all statically linked isn't this um... Yeah, okay, let me uh, pause while that happens. Yeah, because it, it found that, um, it found it way too easily, to my mind. Now, yeah, there we go. Um, so I need to run this, right? To re-export that properly. Okay, that is fine. But this one was not. So do I have to do it there? Is that the difference? Hmm. CPP instantiate temporary. Function. Explain. Show me. How do I do this? Template. Oh. You're joking, right? I have to do this. Template. Like that. Template. That. Almost there. Let's do that. Let's see how this works. Good. If I do that, that should get caught up by the ch char ones. Not quite. Oof. Stem string. Or if I was to do like. of that. That'd be a bit more direct, wouldn't it? Okay. Uh, Arbiture, right? Yeah. Under the data, lol3, a string. Okay. So that makes things a little bit easier. I like that very much. So I'll probably, I'm not sure if I'll go back and change like these one, these types to also be templated. I'm kind of, I'm wavering on that issue, but I'm not convinced yet. But at least this, like the plain old data type, sure, A-okay, perfectly fine. Because rolling back up to this side, I need it. I absolutely need it. So for, okay, basic types, let's say I'm GUI display. We need that, we need that. We don't really need to, I mean, no, if I have it as part of a comment, I don't need it there. I mean, I don't really need the same. I really don't need it on the YAML side either. Data, data, uh, no sub, no, it's just data, data dot whatever. I need to also change this. No, 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 this is correct. I also don't need this. Uh, 
Yeah. Mm. Okay. This is the array type. Oh. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Uh, shrink that down. Actually, this is supposed to be that back here as well. It only goes one deep. It doesn't go too deep, does it? No, because uh, YAML was inside a try catch. That's why it was two layers deep. This is only one. So if. Standard string, uh, no name, tree name, because this will be a tree node. Then I'll call it a node name equals uh, the type, no, the va uh, What is it? Do I have one? Here. I don't know. I don't. What am I reading? Zero. Okay. Zero is member type. We don't want to care about the member type. We do care about the member name. So it's member name. Blah. Plus standard or two string of data dots. Two, which is the count, if and do we tree node, which uses node name dot c string. Do 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 that. Eventually, so if we're we've if we've expanded whatever a, a list or array set that this is, then we want to go through four times t i equals zero times less than uh, data dot two. Set, and then we're going to pass it into IMD display that IT. We pass it in. Okay, so that. We can also bring that back, bring this back. Okay, then we need some logic for the beginning. You know, what is the type? Do what is what's with the node name? What do I do with it? Do I do anything with it for a complex type? I don't think so. Oh, okay, first of all, as well. Okay, that is doing absolutely nothing because I should be here running that instead. Bam. So that gives me structs, which look awful. But should work. Yeah, I have the type there. Okay. Uh, VK structs. Need some basic stuff going on here, so I'm including include <clears throat> I need to include Vulcan. Uh, 
I need to include. I need to include the display that. Do I need to export stuff from here? I do. So that means I need both graphics VK. I am Okay. And then at that point, we'd be copy and pasting this in to here, which doesn't go very well. But I also haven't even like added this to be compiled yet. Uh, as in like, I, had, I don't think I've actually added this whatsoever to here, yeah. That's why I'm missing the export header. So here I got oh, cool. Is there anything I'm mean, even adding at this point? Like header wise? No, not yet. I mean eventually I'm gonna have I'm gonna be adding these types like this the graphics vk stuff but not i mean would i even need to include that either if i'm using the template i don't think so actually hmm maybe may be okay does this compile no because i'm going to be missing whatever this type is Plus, it's just going to not work anyways, because, mm, yeah, wrong location for that. Graphics VK on GUI export. Let's make sure it's the type I'm looking for, right? Yeah. <clears throat> also, typo. Okay, better. Better, better, better. So what's going on here? No function template matches function template specialization. This where bool, whatever bool from, I inherited it. It should be void. Close that, close that, close that, close that, close that. Where is, where's is this? So for the VK type, I'm still passing in three items. Yes, indeed I am. So this is that, I don't want that, I want that. Member type, member name. Not member type, member, yeah, member type, member name. That's that's good. 0111, 011, 012 for the count. I would also have to add, oh yeah, I do have the count there. Because it's part of the tree node. Oh, uh, but I would have to pop the tree. It's excluded, PNX, those are all skipped. That's good. So that. that we paste this a lot better and I got 
problems with redefinitions of node name. Ah, yeah, okay. I don't need it once I'm inside of it. But that node name would be something that would be reused anyways. Okay, for one thing, I'm not actually using it, so just blank that out. That's fine. But still, this is going to be a pro Oh, you know what? This is easy. This is super easy. I just need to do that. Semicolon. Done. If I can actually... Uh... Nice. I don't understand why this worked fine. Is it because it's an enum type? Or no, because it is instantiated. So it should be sitting here. So it is compiled. So I don't understand that. So maybe there is actually a good reason a really good reason to actually have that sitting out front. Do that, do that, and do that. I'd rather be too explicit than not explicit enough for something like this. So you run it. These guys have, you know, using that, great. Do, 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 do. fine. Is this just because I don't understand? I don't, I don't understand. Why is this okay? Hmm. I don't know what to do about this. Enums. Because they're all just uh, compiled down the ints. BK flags. Mm-hmm. I may want a specific implementation for some. Okay, I'm going to need a specific implementation for some types. Like, now that I think about it, going all the way back here, I need a specific type implementation. For a Boolean. Where uh, it's actually is that I don't know. I actually don't know. Back up. I have no idea whether Boolean comes up true or false. I'm assuming it's coming up as like an integer type. Let's go back to like say you know it's a bool type specifically. I'd rather have that be true or false rather than hmm. never mind. It's good. Still need it for VK Bool thirty two though. That is for sure.
I need one for yeah, basically this. So I'm saying, hey, you know. Oh, it's directory. Just include all this, please. Boom. Two, great. This is going to be turned into. This is just going to. Oh. And do the display the Boolean type. I should really check, change that from no name to label. I think I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do that. So that's label, not whatever it was. Down here. No, 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 do that. Can I do string view? I don't know if I can. It's already covered by something else. That's fine. Okay. This is not even modified anymore, is it? Yeah. Go away. I need a git ignore in here. Sorry, not here. Up here. Should be the same as these. Well, really, just this, this. Rolling all the way back up here, where this all began with shader create info. And I want to do, I am the display of, doesn't matter what it is, it's a struct type. Create info, graphics create info, descriptor set layout create info. And the other type, just down there. Push constant range. Now, like, I'm under no illusions that Vulkan is, of course, not going to be used forever as the graphics API. Still, but it's useful for now. And besides, like, if I can actually figure, keep like automating a lot of this 
cruft work away like this, so it makes it way faster and easier to just make adjustments down the road and to more easily adjust it to whatever manual stuff, more manual stuff I have down the road. That's how I'm justifying this. Okay, ink, angry display dot HPP. Wow, I cannot type now. Because I'm not bringing it in through here. So before graphics resource, before graphics UK, I am GUI. That's what I need. And that'll bring in those definitions, those exported symbols, which I am looking for, right? No. That's a lie. Okay, here we go. Now that I'm actually calling it, now I can't find all of these types, which are enum types. And that's also an enum type, yeah. Uh, all right. Okay. So. This is actually a good opportunity because these are enum types or are they sometimes? Maybe not. No, yeah. So what I can do is rather than, it depends on if it's bit flag though, if it's a bit flag or just an enum. So, okay. In the Vulcan mini, mini, ah, mini libs, I should have under VK value serialization down here, I have all of this already automatically generated for the other project of mine, which means if I can get access to this stuff, I can then back out for I'm doing print out precisely like what, for, first of all, if it's an enum, just whatever the enum is, but also like I can iterate through and list all the the, the uh, bit flag flag values for one if I can find one yeah like this one I can like it I can spit out all the whatever these are mm, already oh no 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 I don't even need to do that I could just do this right VK serialize sorry VK parse no VK serialize VK serialize turns it into a string Right, yes, here we go. Mm -hmm. With the VK type, the VK value, and the string that I would put in, and then I bit back out and spit it out. But I need to, I need a, another thing. So not just VK types, I need VK enums flags I guess is because these are technically flags they're all like based off okay I don't know what they are based off of anymore what are they based off of VK result blah 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 it's just an enum right let's find a much simpler one let's follow one nope nope too far they are, okay, the bit flags are based off of flags. Great. But these are just enums. Hmm. 
So, what I can do is if I was to add types to this, then in this, if possible, I still want to keep it all together in one generation, one generator. So I here I'm just going through struct. So I can do another pass beforehand that goes through um, enums, I think they are. Do I still have this open? I do not. But I'm pretty sure in here, vendors. I won't bother with vendors. But down here somewhere. Yeah, these types are all sitting under what? Enums. Perfect. So that's the image layout. And all the flag types are also being, right? Because they're bit flags. Yeah, they're also under enums, right? Can I get a quick thing that says where they are? I'll assume it's under enums. So yeah, we'll have another uh, small pass. In let's now the dot find all enums. If not enum name in YAML data, continue. Otherwise, we're gonna. It, it'd be a very simple um, whatever it is like this template that which is going to have this specific type which is the enum name and this can be just a single thing simple I think so I've got a standard string stringified um, what's the term I use what is it serialize So that also means, so no, I mean, I could just very easily put this in a separate, maybe. Maybe. VK value serialization, we're doing this. So it'd be like VK serialize. this, which is the VK type, which is zero. The value, which is the data, and the string, and serialize string. Then I have label, that's actually going to be used, because then we have the serialized string, Then I go into the other thing because I don't want to have, I could just, yeah, I could just pass it in, right? Yeah, but I pass the label in and I pass serialized string in to that. So whatever happens at a lower level, maybe, or do I just do it here? I guess I'll just do it here, just, yeah. CPP does nothing whatsoever because I didn't even add any of the types. Yes, of course. 
Good job, me. I need the actual list. Just, just kind of have that. Have at it. Show me. Yes. Maybe. I think that works. Get rid of that. Don't need it. Goodbye. Follow display. We know what that. That's good. That's good. Great. Put this up here. That. Magic. It's all coming together. All that work. Things are getting easier as I go along, which is a funny thing. As things get more complex, it get easier. With so much pre work. Not pre work. Pre production? No, no this isn't production. Whatever. Preparation. Preparatory, preparatory work. I'll go with that. Okay, do I want to have them together? I'm not sure yet, so I'll just be type. Realistically, I could just go through all of the enum types, right? Why not? Maybe. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. It'll be a lot. Let's see what happens. This is going to be a big one. A lot of types. Hmm, it takes me to 2000. Okay, probably some of them are going to be like, oh, you know, there's no actual stuff. <sighs> right. Mm hmm. We don't want the bits. Flags, right? Okay. What about this? What's going on here? Unknown type entirely. Cause... Right. I don't have any of the logic for locking off those types. Hmm. But I can do it. I could do it. So, okay, I need two... Whatever. Two things. First of all, this seems mostly workable. I just need to... Okay. If... How do I say like ends in string ends with Python? Dot ends if this ends with Oh no 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 I, I, Can I just do replace? Straight up replace. Python replace. Old and new. String. Okay, string. What? Yeah. So the old one, which is flag bits, is replaced with flags. Um, 
flag bits. That didn't work at all. Nah, yeah, it didn't work at all. Okay. Not, okay. Oh no, enum name equals the, the, the replaced version of stuff. There we go. Okay, that's good. Give me it all. Next. Redefinition of unsigned int because there are types such as this that just have nothing. There's just a type def of BK flags. So in those cases, I return a boolean if I do anything. Yeah, that's fine. No, no throwing. Child count, uh, Python dictionary. Okay, print enum and then just exit out. Give it what? What is your wisdom? That gives me nothing. How did I do this? If um, it's now root dot find, I'm not gonna get rid of that, I don't need it. Find all enums this. Format num name f else whatever it doesn't matter. What matters is I get an f. Okay, we do that, and then we exit here. Are there any Ds? There are indeed Ds. And I'm willing to bet that those are the cases where they don't have anything, any values to them. I'm hoping. Uh, actually, why don't I just... Okay, these if we go back to this show me has no items, but this one does perfect. It's what I'm looking for. So if it has something, then we want to rename. And we want to print it out like that. That should save a little, little bit of items. Go to the VK struts. Run that. So how bad is it, is it now? It is still very bad. Why? VK shader stage flags. Okay.
Yeah. All right. Because they're all just DK flags. It's the flag bits that are the ones with cool stuff. Okay, new plan, BK Edom, we'll have to have a specialization, which is going to take in a third thing. So you got the label, you got the type, and then you got the generic UNT64, I'll put it as, I guess. And they're all going to roll back into... Okay, how do I... Okay, I can do this because in here I can do a check if... Um, oh no, I'd have to do it here as well. Not cool. Okay, it's just the flag bits, right? Q flags, 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 flags. It's it's just the flag ones. Okay. I can maybe I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to deal with this. I was so... If member type and flags in member type... I'm st I still have to deal with this case, the multi-case. Do I... If it's flags, then change it to flag bits. Okay. Okay, I can recover from this. Can I though? Uh, I'd have to say this would have to be enum flag bits, right? Yeah. So, so I don't need to do this replacement anymore. So you. Right. Do this. This rolls it back to. Just get rid of that. Need the structs again. Okay, then we got 
some items that don't exist. That's fine. Unknown type. What is this? Okay. Wait, hold on. This is actually really close. What do you mean you don't know what that is? If I'm here. And I go into this. And I go into this and I search for it. I'm not going to find anything. Because there are no flag bits. Ah! Oh! Wait a second. So then why am I generating this? I shouldn't be generating this. How, how many problems are there right now in VK struct? Not too many. I mean, there's plenty enough, but like it, you have to get really far. So that's a separate issue. Same thing with this thing. But these are, this is because this just type doesn't have anything. So why is this being done right now? Oh, because I got rid of the num name. Oh. Uh. Because it should be looking for the, uh, the flags. Or, sorry, or this, where I do this, don't replace flags. Flag, yeah, flag bits with flags. Which kind of looks like the exact same thing. which should not be the case because we're not supposed to have any. But that doesn't mean, that doesn't matter because the other side is going to be requesting this anyways. Oh no, no, but the other side will still think it's a UN32 or a VK flags and we'll just print out a zero, which is fine. I can live with that. So I just need to figure out how to get rid of these guys. So how did this get through? Why? Why did this get through? Okay, I gotta do something else real quick. B R B. All right. <clears throat> so we're here. I want to do like if on this type that. Then I want to say, hey, you know, uh, print. No, if. Case one, 
if the other case, then we say case two. Truly interested in this. Mm hmm. Need an extra one. There we go. Um, libs. That doesn't really help me at all. Let's move this out and this out down like that. Do that. Struct CPP case one. So the case is that this, this, this for this does have something. Are you sure? I don't know. Call. There is actually something here. On version two oh seven. Do I not have version two oh seven of the headers? Well, I thought I would. version 207. So this should be here somewhere, but it's not. Well, that's not good. That's not going well. What can I do? Like, what I could do is move it back by one. I actually, I do wonder what would happen if I do that. Two oh six. Let's say if I go back to two oh six, run this. that check the okay, this time I actually generate it great Looking for, I'm looking for this. Yeah, no, it's it's got that thing still from the VK NVIDIA extension 52. That's still there, and I just don't have it in my header. This is absolute terrible. So. I'll have to, I have to fall back to the idea where I have to have a separate function for these types, which takes in a second standard string, which is this, right? And then this is like a U in 30, uh, UN 64. So let's grab this out.
Oh, graphics, BK, Iron Boogie. That. I'm going to display VK. So you got the label, you got the type. And then you got so that's Would it be that? Okay, we don't do constant, we just do a copy in this case. So we can properly alias backup or uh, cast or whatever it does. And it needs to be UN64. T does it have to be? It could be uh, in 64, right? It's never going to be negative. I know that. So I'll roll with that. And then this is going to become whatever this is. Like that. Data, we've got the type. Flags are down, types are also just not doing anything either. Oh no, I still need that. K types. VK bool 32. Converts it to Boolean. Okay, okay. So that means I can scrap this part. Okay. Mm -hmm. At this point, I want to do the, the case where I can check the member type against enums to see if it exists there. And if it does, then I call the special one. Okay. If otherwise it's hmm. So I need something that says, you know, uh, the function call equals this. formats with member type by default that's what it is however if either of the two types which I had this then 
that or Place flag bits with flags. If either of those cases, then the function call changes to be equal to angry display VK with empty first thing for this case. Member type, the member type, member type, yeah. Right? Or do I have to? I think I have to do that. Got that. And what was the other thing? The formatted name? Zero, 01 iterate. No, no, it'd just be iterator. I can just do iterator. It makes it a little bit easier. do the same thing here. If it's a VK and flags, if either of these, oh no, 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 I can do this and flags. In fact, I could just do that, right? Right. No. That end flags becomes this. So it's always going to be this case. So I don't need this here. VK I'm GUI, VK nums, HPP, that's right there. Don't know why you don't see it. Run failure. If
if this or that what's going on cannot use absolute path on element Do I just not? I have. I should have access to that. Oh, okay. That. Okay. Structs. This is much smaller, but does it actually work? I don't think so. That is definitely wrong. So we've got one, two, zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three. Could have been that. Never closed. What are you talking about? Okay. Yeah, okay. Putting in the right directory would help. So this is here, we need to include. Still trying to do these types. It's not a flag type. Um, or we can add an or, right? If this, we also want to do this case. Okay. Okay, in this case, we do want to have. The member type, the member name. It's just here we don't want to.
Okay. Binding, create info. Okay, that actually looks workable. So I have these things for the shaders. Let's roll. So far, so good. Dang. I'm supposed to have shader create info. I have stage flags. Sorry, what am I doing? Flags, P bindings. Okay. One thing I probably want to do. Is. Okay, so this descriptor set layout CI is this. You got the flags, which is coming up with nothing. So that's something to do with that. That's empty, that's fine. P bindings, there's just no bindings, so that's fine. Someone's gonna have bindings somewhere. Can I detect if it's a substruct? Yes, of course I can. I can do the same thing as usual. If that's the case, then I can wrap it in an if statement, right? Yeah. If it's that, if it's that, elif XML root dot find all. If it's a substruct of some sort, do do do. Then I can wrap it. be this type I know that just display that I need to do I need to put in zero
zero, one, that, close it up. And the tree node that. Open that. Great. That's done. Close it up. We have to also do the tree pop. Yeah, that one's substruct. Now what that's also the same thing I'll kinda wanna do here. Okay, see that's a bit that's quite a bit more readable. Still kinda wanna give the type. Offset and what? BK push constant range. False and set. What? BK push constant range. What is this uh, looking like? So you went 32. So why? Is this appearing to go to the Boolean type? Why? This is not a VK bool. Is this? This is even thirty-two. Well, not anymore. It's not. I'll just deal with it. Do I have any shaders that actually have bindings? I swear I had one at least. 
somewhere in the data. Single albedo shader. There you are. So I just need to kind of do some fancy work here. L if this member is a struct member in which case if I'm call is going to equal this little thing instead. Tree node that display, sorry, not zero. But I may as well, right? Type, number name, okay. And I'd want the, f that's the member name. No, this would be empty. One would not be this one, it would be the formatted name. I didn't even generate it, so this was pointless run. Do that, feed base structs. Data bindings, that's not correct at all. Zero one, two, and then I just need a member name. Nope, 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 nope. Don't need that because I could just be iterator. Simplifies it just a little bit. Nothing, nothing changed. Wait, hold on. No, something did change. Uh, I've got the wrong... 
Location, the tree node is up here. That's what matters, not that one. So I need that and that. These are all already individually that. This is for the tree node of the function call, right? So actually, if it's already that, then yeah, then no, 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 don't do this. Just do this by default. Because it's already going to be expanded from this other tree node. Uh, that's shallower. Swap them around. Let's put the actual like member name first. So where I can. So here will be one dash zero. Actually, no, let's do this. That semicolon plus 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 that at the end that will make even more sense yes it would okay Member type in brackets. It's that if it's that. And similarly, would I need it here? I don't think so because it's already done down here. It would help, of course, to generate it first before trying it. Copying it over. What did I just not flags that topology that I don't get it. They are for, for sure. Okay, flags is that, that's correct, that's correct. So what's, why are these ones not? Because they're not here, they're in shader.
technically that's working nicely. That's also working nicely. There's nothing really there, but you know. Okay, this is a much better uh, thing than I was going to do for a lot of them. Now I just kind of got to carry on with uh, other types to just kind of repeat this process, but I'm pretty okay, satisfied enough with uh, this generation, this generator. It works. And really it's gonna cut down a lot of pain K nums. So yeah, I guess I'll call it there for tonight. Offline, I'll just kind of complete the rest of these, but like the meat of getting a lot of the Vulcan generation and the new pattern for uh, display is done. So for now, cheers. <laughs>